Welcome to the next in the series of videos that we're putting together introducing our latest release of SAP Business One version 8.8. .8. We're going to be talking about functionality that's available in the release that's just gone into general availability as well as things that are going to be coming over the next couple of months as part of our version 8.8 .8 family as we release feature packs and, and so on. So in this session we'd like to actually talk about what we've done to help small enterprises reduce the total cost of ownership of running their business management solution. With more than 27,000 customers running SAP Business One today gives us a lot of people that we get feedback from and they're telling us some consistent messages. It's a highly competitive environment and they need to focus their energy on their customers and minimize the effort needed to maintain their system. So they want to automate their system maintenance as much as possible. The other thing that small enterprises are telling us is that they don't have support people on tap. Many customers, in fact, don't even have a, a regular IT support consultant that they call upon. Well, the good news is SAP has a significant number of resources available focused on supporting those 27,000 customers and our thousands of partners around the world who also support SAP Business One. And what we've done is we've taken that knowledge, that understanding, that skill, and the learning that's come about as a result of supporting all those customers and partners, and we've distilled that down into a tool that is part of our version 8.8 .8. and also we've made it available for earlier releases of SAP Business One, for example our SAP Business One 2007 release. And this tool is called the Remote Support Platform. And what the Remote Support Platform does it really provides our small business customers with a single automated solution that monitors, protects and manages their B1 system. So with the remote support platform, what it allows them to do is take a, a lot of maintenance tasks and automate those. It allows them to do checks on the system, check it back against some best practice understanding and knowledge that we have inside SAP and apply updates, apply tasks to the SAP Business One system that keeps it running at its most optimal. So the best way of understanding what the remote support platform is about is to actually have a look at the, at the remote support platform in action and see how it can be used. Let's do that right now. So a great way of thinking about the remote support platform, it's like having an automated support technician that's constantly monitoring your system, looking for things that need to be adjusted, looking for problems in the database. So this is the remote support platform user interface. You can see right now I'm monitoring one of my company databases and right now the status is green. A couple of other things that you can see, I've got some incoming tasks, so any jobs that are sent through to the remote support platform that need to be executed can be seen here on the incoming tasks. Over on the right hand side, you can also see when I last logged on and what the last upload results were, and also when I've run other tasks that need to be confirmed, you can see those in the bottom right hand corner. And then of course on the bottom left, I've got the different views that are available to me with the remote support platform. So let's go ahead and look at a real scenario that might occur and where the remote support platform can help. So in my SAP Business One uh, system right now, I've got uh, some user-defined fields set up. You're probably familiar with the concept of user-defined fields and how they allow you to customize the system without writing code. So I've got a user-defined field here at the moment that's 14 characters in length. I want to change that to 16. So I go and put 16, I choose the update. Uh, I accept that, but you'll see down the bottom I've actually received an error message that the field cannot be updated. So again, Business One is constantly giving you the good, useful information about what's going on inside the system. So right now I've actually got a task that's available for me in the remote support platform that has been pulled down. So I'm going to open up that task and have a look and see, is that task going to actually help me solve this problem? There's my SAP note. So I go ahead and I open up the uh, SAP Service Marketplace, which both partners and customers have access to. I look up that note and I can see when I'm trying to update a user-defined field, an error message occurs. So I can see, yes, that's the problem I'm having. So therefore, this task that's available for me is going to help me cure this problem in my database. So. What do I need to do? Well, before this will run, I actually have to give it my approval for it to run. So nothing can happen without you going ahead and saying that it's okay. So I'm going to choose approve. 
So I'm going to run that task. So what the first step is, it's just double checking and it's saying, is this applicable? Is this solution applicable to the problem that I'm having? And I can see that it is, can see that my database actually is now in a position where a fix can be applied. So once I've determined that a fix can be applied, the next step for me is to go ahead and apply that fix itself. So let's go and let's apply the fix. So I'm going to simply click on that update and I can see there it is that the, that's the task name and the description and I can see that this is a new update for me to apply. So I'll go ahead, I'll click on the next button to tell it to execute and as soon as I click on next you'll see it's giving me a little bit of an update on what's exactly is happening. Now it's checking to see if there's any database activity. There was some activity in the database it was still open so I'm just going to go back into Business One, close down my Business One client, refresh that, no more activity on the database so I'm now okay to go ahead and it's now updating the database and it's applying the content of that corrective task. So it's checking my database, that's successful, it did a backup, it applied the fix and it checked the database afterwards. Uh, so now I go ahead and I say finish and you can see my database status is now uh, green again. So my fix has been applied, that incoming task has been removed and if I go back into SAP Business One now and we'll go through the same process, just won't show it to you in full screen. I go in, here is my user defined field again. Let's open that up. Let's change it to 16 characters in length. Pop in my 16, go ahead and update that. And now that's gone ahead successfully. And you can see that my field length has changed to alphanumeric 16. So again, I found a problem the remote support platform has provided a fix. It's allowed me to go ahead and securely apply the fix and I'm now ready to go again uh, with my corrected Business One system. So let's summarize. We looked at the remote support platform. You saw exactly how the client worked and how we were able to take those tasks and bring them in and apply them to the system. We looked at the SAP Service Marketplace and how we were able to go and check the SAP notes to determine whether or not the problem that we were occurring was documented and if an automated task had been created to solve that problem. We then saw how we brought that task into the system and we ran that repair task with complete control of the entire process the whole way. And you saw how that was securely executed to keep the system running. So hopefully that gives you an understanding of how we've taken that knowledge, that understanding, that experience experience that we've built up from working with the more than 27,000 customers around the world and we've put that down into this tool, the remote support platform, which is part of our version 8.8. So if you'd like more information on SAP Business One 8.8, you can find us on the web at www.sap.com SME or you can feel free to email me. My name is Richard Duffy. You can find me at richard.duffy at sap.com. I'd be more than happy to put you in touch with the right people who can help you understand more about SAP Business One and see how it can help you become a best run business. Thank you.